WNBA basketball player Brittany Griner is speaking out for the very first time after being released from a Russian penitentiary in 2022. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about WNBA basketball player Brittany Griner speaking out for the very first time after being released from a Russian penitentiary. And she served that time from February to December of 2022. About 300 days, she was locked up. Now, if you guys don't remember what happened, let's go back a little bit to give a recap before we get to the interview. And of course, I will link to the interview in the box if you want to see it in full. Now, what she did was travel to Russia to play basketball because the way a lot of these WNBA players make extra money is they play in other countries in the offseason. You're not really getting paid that much playing for the WNBA I mean, it's not a terrible salary, but when you compare it to the NBA guys, it's not that much. Now, I'm not trying to say they deserve that much. Don't get it twisted. I'm just saying, if you are a rookie and you're getting paid seventy-five thousand compared to some of the NBA rookies getting paid five, ten million, it's a big difference. So what they do is they go to other countries, and some of these countries pay more than the USA. There's more of a demand for them over there because it's an American. All right, any kind of American they can get, they want to get it because it's going to drive out attendance. Therefore, it's going to drive out revenue. All right, it's kind of a reward for your demand thing over there when the reward over here is not as much, but I don't want to get into the economics, so I digress. The point is that she traveled to Russia to play basketball, but unfortunately for her, she had some vape cartridges with some weed in her bag. So once she lands at the airport, they're going through a bag. Oh, you got some weed in here. I think it was like 100 cartridges or something crazy. Don't get me to lying, but it was not a small amount. It wasn't like that one guy, um, Futures DJ Metro Booming, when he went to Dubai and he got locked up for a short amount of time and they had brought out magnifying glasses to see if there was any kind of weed in his book bag. Tell about something, is it green or brown? It was not like that. It was a pretty obvious thing that she did. A really big mistake which got her locked up for 300 days. Now, she was ultimately freed by the Biden administration by trading Victor Boots or about whatever his name is, um, the merchant of death. This guy is an international or was an international arms dealer selling guns to war torn countries in Africa. I mean, this guy was one of the worst of the worst. We traded him for a WNBA basketball player. Meanwhile, you got guys over there, military veterans just kind of languishing away, but I don't want to get too far into that, so I digress. Let's get into the actual update here, and if you, again, if you want to see it in full, I will link to it in the box, but without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. We turn now to an ABC News exclusive tonight. Robin Roberts, one-on-one -on -one with WNBA star Brittany Griner, speaking out for the first time about her 10 months behind bars in Russia, and the mistake that changed her life. Tonight here, what she revealed to Robin. At the Moscow airport, this is Russian custom service footage of Brittany Griner putting- oh, they, got, they got a dog out there and everything. Yeah, she was toast. Yeah, if you see a dog going through somebody's bag, man, <laughs> they about to get locked up. Her carry-on bags through the scanner, unaware that life as she knows it is about to end, as the agent tells her to search her backpack. So you reached down because mm -hmm. you've been told to go through your bag yep. and you felt felt the cartridge cartridge. And I'm just like, oh, my God, how, how, how did I how did I make this mistake? Did they ask you what was in it? They asked. Um, <laughs> I looked at them. I was just like, I don't know. I was just like CBD. But it wasn't CBD. Russian authorities determined that between the two cartridges is actually 0.7 grams of cannabis oil contained. So I don't know why I heard it was 100 cartridges, but anyway, so I guess they're saying it was two cartridges. Maybe there were more, but it didn't have any weed in it. I don't know, but they're saying there was two cartridges, 0.2 grams, and then 0.5 grams of weed. Containing THC, the psychoactive ingredient in marijuana. Do you know there are mm -hmm. those who say, come on, mm -hmm. how did you not know that you had mm -hmm. cartridges in your in your luggage what do you say to the skeptics i would say have you ever for, forgot your keys in your car left your car running have you ever you know where's my glasses they're on top of your head when did you realize that i'm being detained 
The moment they took my passport and they took my boarding pass. 134 days into her detainment, Brittany Griner goes on trial in Himki, Russia. Now, I'm going to just pause right here. I'm going to give her a little bit of grace. It's easy. If you got these small things in your bag, if it was just those two things and that was it, and it was not a bunch of them, that can be easy to forget you have in your bag. I see it all the time where guys forget they have a magazine in their bag. Sometimes guys forget they have guns. I mean, me personally, I'm not that careless. I'm not going to use a travel bag with – I'm not going to use a travel bag as a gun bag or a weed cartridge bag. I'm going to have them separately. Now, I don't smoke weed, so that's part of it right there. But I do have a bag for a gun. I would never use that to travel. I don't care if I clean it out. I'm never going to use it. I, I'll have that over there as a separate thing. My travel bags are my travel bags. A gun bag is a whole different situation. I'm not going to mix them together. So I would not make this mistake, but this is not the first time it's happened. I had no intent to break any Russian laws. I made an honest mistake, and I hope that in your ruling that it doesn't end my life here. You plead guilty. Yes. What was the thought process with that? I understand what I did was a mistake and it was an accident, but at the same time, it happened. She is sentenced to nine years of hard labor. Uh, yes. What were the conditions like there? <sighs> really cold. Um, it's a work camp. You go there to work. There's no. It's a gulag, basically. Now, one thing I'm gonna say. Uh, when people have these kind of experiences overseas in their penitentiary, their punishment system, it, it makes people really appreciate the USA, okay? It makes them really, really love this country. I love the USA regardless. I don't have to get locked up in the gulag in Russia to figure that out. But if you didn't love America before and you get locked up in the gulag, oh, yeah, when you come back home, you're going to kiss the ground of America 100%. Arrest. Then in December 2022, Brittany finally gets the news there will be a prisoner exchange. You are told you're heading home, that it's happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was thrilled. <laughs> like, I'm happy. I'm just like, oh my God, like, we'll win. Our thanks to Robin and to Brittany Griner. Now, there's more to the interview. Of course, I'll link it in the box. One thing it didn't say here that I saw on another page was that she had dreadlocks before she actually. Um, went in and was serving her sentence. Let me see if I can find a screenshot of it right here. Yeah, she had these long dreadlocks. And then some said she had to cut it because uh, they didn't like her hair or whatever. Nah, she was saying the reason why she cut her dreads off is because they were starting to freeze. Okay, you're in Russia. It's cold. All right, now you, you might be inside. You might be in a, in a building at a work camp. But still, that cold up there, I think she was in Siberia somewhere. Like, we ain't talking about just Moscow in a more modern environment. Now you're like away in a, in an extremely cold environment, the kind of cold that you probably never really experienced before. Okay. You live in New York city. You live in Boston. You live in, okay. Now nah, that kind of cold is nothing compared to that Siberian Russian cold. It's a whole different ball game. Heat or no heat. You're just going to have to deal with some serious conditions to the point where you might get frostbite inside under the heater. It's that cold over there. So, yeah. Again, there's more to the interview. Um, she was talking about she might she wanted to delete herself because she didn't think she could make it, all this, that, and the third. But I know she's glad she's back in the USA now. Anybody would be. And unfortunately, there are still other U.S. citizens over there that do not have the star power. And really with her, as I close... It wasn't even really about star power because WNBA is not a popular league. It was a thing that became popular on social media. People were talking about it. It became a racial thing or they're just leaving her over there. And then with the whole weed element, that's something else because there is a movement in the country to legalize weed in a serious way, not just in some cities like Denver, Colorado, et cetera. I'm talking about moving it from a schedule one or whatever it is to a schedule two or three trying to lessen the taboo of we make it become more legalized. So if you got her over there, a black female LGBT basketball player, popular on social media, we, it just made sense for the Biden administration to trade a whole terrorist allegedly for her. 
unfortunately, it is what it is. All the different elements kind of lined up. So if you're Brittany Griner and you fit all the you, you fit all the political um, requirements to get free, then you're free. But you're an American citizen, military veteran. Hey, man, you got to figure out a way to make yourself more marketable to get freed. That's just kind of the way it is under the Biden administration. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that Brittany Griner should have been freed? Do you empathize with her making a mistake? Because they just showed two cartridges. I'm not sure if there was more or less, but it was just two that had the weed in it. Do you understand how that kind of mistake can happen? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. Uh, you guys know where I'm at. I understand how you can make that mistake. But again, I don't smoke weed and I just take precautions with anything. Okay. Once upon a time, I had guns before the trash boating accident where all the guns got lost. But if I had a gun, I would not keep that in the same bag that I take to travel because, okay, anything can happen. You might have a magazine loaded up and you'll realize it's still in there. You might have a stray, uh, a, a bullet for some reason might not stay in the magazine because you jostling it around. Now you go into the airport. Ooh, what's this? Now, now we got a problem. So I'm very, very careful, very cautious. And I don't think I would ever end up in her shoes because of my caution. And I think you should do the same thing. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.